Hi everybody. In this video, we'll see how to handle an event in Java. Java follows event delegation model. In event delegation model, a source component or an object or say component will generate an event. And there will be another object which will be a listener for that event. And event is also defined as an object. So all these are objects. A source will generate an event and a listener will respond to that event. And when a source generates an event, it will send the event object to the listener so that listener can respond to the event. In my previous video, I have already explained that a component means it will have properties, methods and events. It will generate an event. So the difference between an object and a component, the difference is object will have only properties and methods and a component will also generate event. Like here I have an example that button, Java button is a component. It generates an event and that event is action event. So whenever a user clicks on this button, an event is generated and that event is called as action event. So we can define our own class whose object will handle this event. Click button is generated in action event and the action event is handled by one more object or one more class that is example my listener. So this button class is already defined in Java. It is their predefined class. But this class we have to define by ourselves. Event object is also predefined in Java. So we don't have to worry about the button and event. We have to worry about the listener class which will respond to the event. And this listener class we have to define it. Yeah. Here let us see it in detail. This is a button object. And when it is clicked it will generate an event that is action event. We can define our own class that is my listener which will handle this event or respond to this event. So here you can see one example here. Example code I have given. This is a button class that is for button click here and this is a listener class that is my listener which implements action listener. So action listener is a predefined interface available in Java. So to make it capable of handling action event, I should imp implement action listener interface in my class and it is having only one method. So that method must be overrided here. Now one interesting thing here is that if this class want to respond to the event generated by this button, then this class must register with button. So here is the method of registering. Add action listener, my listener. So my listener is this class. So that is being registered with button class. So on a button object, the object of this class is registered. So what happens is whenever a button is clicked, this generates an event and it will call the callback function of registered class. So as already this has registered with button, so this will be a callback function. That is public void action perform. This function is a callback function. So this button will call this function and it will pass that action event as a parameter to this function. So this is a built-in mechanism of Java. We don't have to worry about how the function is called. Just when the button is clicked, the function of this class will be called that is action perform. Reason this class is already registered with this one. Similarly, here is an example. In my previous video, I have given this example that this is a store or a shop which may organize some event like they may have a sale or offer sale or discount sale. So if there's some event, they will inform their customers. So to whom they inform the customers who are already registered with this store means they are a member of this one or they are a regular customer of this one and they have given their phone number and details to this store people. So whenever there is an event they will call to this person and inform. So this is call back to this customer. So similarly this my listener has registered with the button saying that whenever you are clicked you call me. So Whenever a button is clicked, this function will be called. That is action perform function will be called. 
here is an example code in my previous video i have already developed this particular application and i have developed just the user interface in which a button was also there so there's a button code now next i will add listener here so in this line you can see that in this statement you can see b dot add action listener so on this button i'm adding a listener class which will respond when the button is clicked so as i wanted to develop an application which will swap the contents of these two text fields so here i have written the code for swapping the content and i have overrided action perform method so from here from here to this place this is a complete class definition i'm not writing a separate class i'm not defining it separately but i have written within the same line only so this type of class is called as anonymous class i have implemented inside the function call itself so this is my listener class i have not given the name because there is no name so it is called as anonymous class so i have defined my own class here and which is overriding a method that is action perform and it is swapping the text field so here you can see that this is my class this is my class and this is registered with the button so whenever the button is clicked this function will be called when the button is clicked this function will be called program which i have already developed if i run this program i get this window application if I tie something here and click on this button, nothing happens because I have not handled the event. Now I will add a listener for a button. So B dot add action listener new action listener. Is an action event I'm handling the action event here for swapping I'll take a temporary string t1 dot get text this will get the text from first text box and in text box one I will set the text from T2 dot get text. Now in T2, I will set the text that is temp. So, one more thing I have to do is import a package. AWT was already there, so inside AWT, there is one more package that is event. So I'll add that package. Yeah. Now I run. If I click this button, this function will be called action perform. And it will swap the contents of two text fields. Again swap. So that's how the event is handled on this button. Thanks for watching.